What's up everyone? Today is a good day. I got the block back. So we just got back from like an hour trip getting this thing back from the machine shop. So uh, I'm not wasting any time. It's grind time. We got to get ready for cash days. So I'm going to get this thing bolted up to the engine stand and start cleaning it. And I'll pick up with you guys once I get it, uh, get it ready. I got the block on the engine stand. And now I'm just going to get some carburetor cleaner. And I also got this tap right here. I'm going to use this tap to clean out down inside where the head studs go. And I'm going to use some uh, floss, some carburetor cleaner, and some automatic transmission fluid. And I'm going to clean all these cylinders up really good because there's a lot of stuff inside the cylinder that's dirty that you can't you can't see. You, you'll see it whenever you start wiping in here with the rags and the, car, uh, the carburetor cleaner and transmission fluid. It'll start pulling all the contaminants out of the cylinder walls, which you don't want in there. So... I'm gonna start working on that and get this thing nice and clean and then start putting some uh, bearings in it and checking clearances and just verifying verifying piston wall clearance again and then uh, move on from there. So I'm gonna get to it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just spraying WD-40 on this rag and I'm wiping it around in the cylinders and you can see how much like metal and stuff and dirt and just grime is coming out of the cylinders. So I have to keep wiping these cylinders down with like WD-40 or um, like brake, brake cleaner and even some, trans, some transmission fluid. Like this stuff all pulls that stuff out of the cylinders pretty good. And then I just have to keep wiping them down until I get a clean rag in there and nothing comes off on it. It's just really time consuming. So it's just, just one small thing, attention to detail thing that you have to think about whenever you're building engines. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back over here and uh, keep working. fitting the rings uh, it's a really long tedious process it's probably my most uh, uh, my most un, uh, it's probably my most disliked part of building an engine just because it's so tedious and you have to put these rings in so many times and check them but it's done I set the ring gap at 28 thousandths on the top and the bottom ring on those so those are done uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is, is I got the main caps out I'm going to get my bearings put in the block and in the main caps. I'm going to torque them down and I'm going to check my clearances. If they're good, I'm going to go ahead and set the crank in and get that all torqued up and the thrust bearing seated. And I'll move on. <laughs> is measured now uh, they're a little on the tight side so I'm getting like 14 tenths or you or you could say it as 1004 tenths to 1003 tenths on each one of my main bearings which is a little on the tight side but this is an aluminum block and I've had a few people that have a lot more experience than me tell me that that's okay 
um, and due to the fact that I probably can't get a set of standard bearings in to mix with these thousands tighter bearings anytime soon uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it together I think it's gonna be fine um, we'll see there shouldn't be an issue I've even seen posts where John Mahovitz like the fastest modular car in the uh, world says to run them tight so I'm gonna go ahead and put it together, get the uh, assembly lube put on these and get the crank dropped down in the uh, block and start getting everything torqued down. piston put in the block um, it's uh, like day three on this engine build it was night time on my last time lapse now it's the morning of the third day of working on this thing and uh, I went through some issues last night um, I have this ring compressor right here and uh, I found a new use for it um, and I'll go ahead and show you guys what the best use I found for this uh, ring compressor right here is yep that thing is a piece of crap I almost messed up one of my oil rings on this piston right here trying to get it in the bore so a friend of mine let me borrow this nice piston ring compressor tool right here it works a lot better I got that piston in no problem so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the rest of these pistons put in and get the bolts torqued down on them and move on from there <laughs> I ran out of battery for the time lapse, but I fought with this thing to get my
pickup tube to pan clearance right, but I finally got it squared away, so the pan's on there. That new three valve pump is on. Uh, everything's torqued down. The pickup, new pickup tube is on there, so that's ready to go. So now we're at the point of putting the heads on it. So about to take these bad boys out of the bags and get them torqued down on there. Got a new set of head studs for it. New set of ARP 2000s with these new washers that are serrated. And that helps the washer grip the head so the washer doesn't spin with the nut while you're torquing the head studs. So it's a really nice feature that ARP came out with that I really like. So gonna get the, the heads on and get the head studs in and get these things torqued down. <laughs> way longer than it should have to bolt some heads down to an engine they are on I kept having a problem with the washer slipping even though these are the new revised washers I ended up having to like torque them and loosen them a couple of times and, and re-clean the washers to get them to seat but I did eventually get the head studs to seat right this this engine has fought me this whole time like this is the end of the was it third day was it second, second day or third day it's the end of the second day so Anyways, the heads are on. We'll start putting the timing stuff on it because I have to degree the cams next. I've already put these timing dial pins in from Jeffrey at Apocalypse Performance. They're in there and torqued up. Um, so I'm going to get the timing components on there, get the chains on, and start degreeing the cams. <laughs>
hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. Next, we're going to get the engine put in the car and get it started up. As always, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.